Hey, this is Skip Panther with Tar Heel Parts, and what we're going to do today is uh, start a series of videos in which we're going to polish this brass cannon. And what we'll wind up doing at the end, once it's all polished up and everything, we're going to sell it. So keep stay, stay tuned so that you can maybe buy the cannon later on. Uh, we're going to use a, a variety of buffs and things like that with this uh, buff in this cannon because it's, it's too large to pick up. So we're actually going to have to take the uh, buff and go to the cannon to polish it versus picking up small parts and going over to a bucking wheel on a stationary polishing machine. Um, and what you want to do always is always start with the largest areas first and then work your way to the smaller areas because you'd be amazed at what you can get uh, done with a large buff in small areas. Um, this one's a little bit rough. Uh, it was a sand cast cannon, um, so it has some, uh, some of the rough pebble grain finish on it left and we're going to have to sand that down. In the places it's already been sanded and polished, we'll just simply sand it with uh, 180 grit and then 320 grit and then buff it. In the areas that are rough cast, like in here and, and the wheels, various things like that, what we'll do there is we'll uh, sand it uh, with 80 grit and then 180 grit and then 320 grit uh, and then buff. Um, so without any further ado, what we'll do is uh, start with the large areas. I'd like to start with that with a, you know, a right angle die grinder. Uh, we'll start off with three inch discs, something like this, and we'll cut them so that they're uh, octagonal or, or hexagonal on the edge so it won't dig in. Uh, we can get into that later when we get, get closer. I'll start with uh, a 180 up here to go to 320. Uh, on the larger surfaces, uh, like up in here, something like that, not necessarily larger surfaces, but surfaces with a radius, we can either do it with a flap wheel, with a drill. So we're going to use all sorts of different tools in this video too. Um, die grinders, uh, air power tools, uh, electric tools. And uh, so the drill will get up in here like this. Uh, die grinder uh, will get up in, in this area like that, uh, small tight areas. And when we get into the tighter areas, we'll go into uh, cartridge rolls, little sanding rolls. Here again, we'll go 80, 180, and 320. We'll actually put grease on the sanding roll so that it uh, won't dig in very much. Um, then likewise, once we get it to a 320 finish, we'll come along and buff the large areas with just a handheld side grinder. And that, we use the Tripoli first to start with, and then we'll finish up with the Canton flannel and the White Rouge to finish it up. Uh, tighter areas, we'll use little uh, cartridge rolls like this. They're yellow rolls that go on a, on a die grinder like that. Uh, this is a cartridge roll that's on here right now, but they'll, they'll simply go right on here like this, and we can get up into tight spots. Uh, we'll also use, uh, this is a threaded buffing taper mandrel. This will go up in a little buff like that, and we can get into tighter areas like that uh, with the die grinder again. Uh, there's some other little buffs that might be nice to use. Um, we will also use, excuse me, I left this part out a minute ago, cross pads. Uh, those cross pads will actually flex, they bend, and they're great for getting up into corners like this, so that if you try to go into it with a a round disc, it would dig and gouge, uh, but this will flex and do marvelous things. Uh, and that's what it looks like used. Uh, they get a little bit more tattered, and the more tattered they are, uh, the better they actually work. Uh, we'll also get into homemade flap wheels. This is a uh, basically strips of sandpaper, and uh, it's real flexible also. They're easy to make, and they're great for using on a slow die grinder or an electric drill like this. Um, and uh, we also have some small uh, or some thin buffs like those to get into uh, uh, tight spots again around the corners, uh, up in these grooves up in here. And this area in here, I don't know if you guys remember what the uh, old national cash registers look like, the brass cash registers, but uh, that's what this is going to look like in this area right here when we're finished polishing. Um, uh, then when we're done, we start to handle it and such like that. We have whiting. This is a white powder, some absorbent that. Uh, takes off the buffing residue, the, the smudginess on it, and uh, we, we should be done with it at that point, and then uh, sell that son of a gun. So anyway, give us a call uh, at Tar Heel Parts. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.